everybody. I have a book to read to you today. The title is Nuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity by Mo Willems. There's actually three of these. There's Nuffle Bunny, this one, Nuffle Bunny 2, and there is Nuffle Bunny 3. That's a good one too. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and then I'll show Margaret, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Toshi. And then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then, and talk, and talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! School. It must have been a show and tell for her. There they are. Trixie couldn't wait to show her Nuffle Bunny to Miss Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. She is in preschool. And here's her classroom. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. What does Sonia have? Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Knuffle. Knuffle. Nuffle. Nuffle. <laughs> The afternoon was worse. Oh no, looks like their teacher had to take them away. They were arguing. Oh, they're up high. When the school bell rang, Mrs. Greengrove returned the Nuffle Bunnies. And the day got better. Then before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, brushed her teeth, or devoured her dessert, br then brushed her teeth, <laughs> and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from Planet Snurp. <laughs> oh my goodness. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Hmm, what do you think she realized? Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, that is not my bunny. Trixie's dad tried to explain that 2.30 a.m. means... What 2.30 a.m. means? He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. Oh no, looks like she can't fall asleep without her bunny. Before he even made it downstairs, bring the phone rang. We have your bunny, <laughs> said a man's voice on the other end. <laughs> we have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Oh my goodness.
goodness. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. There was an exchange and the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. <laughs> Looks like they're giggling about it. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. <laughs> the end. And this does the epilogue. This is the next day when the dad, who looks like he's so tired, is walking Trixie to school. And Sonia's dad looks tired too, and he's walking them to school. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my Nuffle Bunny? Sure. Do you want to play with mine? Oh my goodness. Now they're treating them to play with, and they just got up in the middle of the night to get their the right bunny back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, looks like they turned out to be friends, which was a good thing. And I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you for listening.